What's good, YouTube, man? Y'all should already know who it is, man. It is your boy, Ranks HTX, and I'm here once again with another Sony Vegas tutorial, man. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all whether it really doesn't matter if you're a streamer just trying to learn how to edit, whether you're a full time content creator or whether you're a full time freelance video editor. This is something that I feel like everybody in any of those categories needs to be able to execute perfectly, and they need to know when to do it as well. It's one of those effects where if you pull it off properly, it makes the video 10 times better, but when you poorly execute it, the video looks like fucking shit. That effect is slow motion. Motion. Now the thing with slow motion, slow motion is usually used to add suspense or let's say for example you don't know what's going to happen next. It almost gives that suspense as if something crazy is going to happen next because of slow motion. Whatever you're using it for, slow motion helps a lot with that stuff. Now there's two methods to doing the slow motion. I'm going to be showing y'all both of these methods in this video. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video, man. Let's go. Now for the sake of the video, I'm going to move my face cam like probably like down here. I don't want it to block the preview window or the timeline. So my face, I'm, I'm going to be down here for a little bit. Now for this video, I pre-selected this clip and I kind of did some segment cutting already just to make the video go by a little faster. So for this clip, I was playing Rebirth and I jumped out of that little, you know, those little windows that are outside of the showers. So I jump out, shooting, shooting one guy, right? I kill him, right? But then I'm getting shot to the right. Thank you. His buddy's ass, right? So I ego chow him, slide. Jump shot, kill him. He's dead. He's dead in the gas. But now you're probably wondering, how do I go or how do I make that clip a little more intense? I want to add some, I want to add a little more suspense prior to him getting shit on. So there's two ways to pull off um, slow motion. The first method is the quick and easy one known as time stretching. Time stretching is exactly how it is. You're stretching out time. You stretch out time, what happens? It gets longer and it gets slower. I pre-selected these clips because I want this, I pre-selected these cuts, I should say, because I want this to be in um, full speed because this right here is exactly when I slide and switch guns. But then right here is where I start, pull, where I pull out my second gun, I should say. This is where I pull out the second gun and then I jump and start shooting at the guy. But I want some slow motion in here to add suspense to me prior to before I shit on this guy. So here's what we're going to do. For the first clip, we're going to name this clip Clip A. For the second clip, we are going to call this clip Clip B. What I like to do for clips that are slowed down, I turn down the volume on them because when the volume is dragged out, the volume tends to sound pretty annoying. I can't even lie to you. It kind of hurts my ears sometimes. So I got to turn it down. So all you got to do for time stretching is you hover your mouse or you hover your cursor over the end of the clip and you hold control. It goes from trim event end to time stretch. All you got to do is click and drag it to the right. Because like I say, you're dragging it to the right. You're stretching it out. You're stretching it. You're making it longer. You're slowing it down. So when you play it, it looks like this. I want it to be a little, I want it to be a little slower. So let's drag it some more. Let, let's drag it some more. So let's do right here. And then for the second clip, I want this to be slowed down as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hover my cursor over the end. As you can see, hold control. And when I hold control, it says time stretch. I click and drag, probably do about like 40% speed. And it'll look like this. This is how it looks in, in its entirety. Oh, that was way too fast. Let's do turn out some more. Let's do 25. So I'm gonna show this how this looks entirely. So shooting the guy with the M4, slow down, jump, kill him. Now the reason why this is the quick and fast method, and the reason why I don't really like this method, is because look at this second segment right here. It is choppy as hell. It's not really smooth, and I can only slow it down so much. So I'm almost limited to how much I can do and the amount that I'm limited by doesn't even give me the best results. So I don't like doing the first method, time stretching. So let's undo all this shit. <laughs> let's undo everything. Let's undo everything and let's save this, by the way. It's called a slow-mo 3.0. Now for the second method, the only thing that you need to do for this is you need a version of Sony Vegas that is past 17. So this includes 17, 18, 19, 20, everything past 17. The reason why is because on those versions, they have an effect. The effect is called slow motion. Now, slow motion, it literally is as simple as this. You click, you drag, you drop, and that's it. But it's not, it does not end there. It does not end there. What you need to do next is you need to go to quality. You need to put it to fine because we're only using the finest of quality. If you use coarse or medium, you might as well do time stretching. It's no different than that. But we want the top quality. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the clip. We want slow down and click analyze motion. Analyzing motion is simply just rendering through the video and prepping it for the effect. So obviously you want to have a small segment because if you do it on a, a giant clip like 
like like this one right here it'll take a year to do that and that's we don't have time for that shit obviously you want to do is you want to go to the clip that has this you want to keep it on optical flow it gives you the best results on optical flow and you want to just decrease the playback rate let's say for example i want this playback rate to be at what i like doing is 0 0.15 i use 0 0.15 but the thing is if i press play the speed of the clip doesn't match up with the length of the clip so it goes by really quickly so what you need to do is that you need to extend this clip a little bit that way it matches up and it syncs up with the clip at a normal playback rate right after it i need to drag it out some more need to drag it out some more so this is what i mean it's a trial and error process kind of need to know when to do it you, you could even increase the speed a little bit like i like doing like i could do 0.25 for example if i think it's too fat or i think it's too slow for oh, that, that looked perfectly so 0.25 and see, it's much smoother whenever you use the slow motion effect rather than time stretching it. So, but now we want this second clip right here to have it as well. So what do we do? We do the same thing we did before. You click, you drag, you drop slow motion on top of it. You put the quality to fine because we want the finest of quality. You click analyze motion and then they analyze the motion. It goes beep, 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 bop, green bar comes up, green bar goes away. And then a playback rate, let's put this to, let's put this one to 0.15. Now this one will be 0.15 because it's a much shorter clip and i want to be dragging out a little more by the way whenever you're trimming it and you're making it longer do not look at the preview box the preview box will tell you something different than what you see on the timeline so you press play as you can see it looks a little different it looks a little different now if you want to all you got to do like i said it's a trial and error process a trial and error process so i need to extend it a little more just a little more. there we go uh, maybe a little more there we go that's perfect so in comparison to what we had before and what we have now this is how it looks with the slow motion effect on there much smoother much 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 smoother much smoother so there's two methods like i said there's a time stretch which is fast but the the slower the clip is the slower the velocity the more choppy it is if you use the slow motion effect it's a lot longer and it's a bit more of a trial and error process i'm pretty decent with sony vegas so i'm pretty just i'm just used to doing this but if it's your first time doing it 100 percent it will take longer for you to do it on your end but once again if you did enjoy this video and you learned some man and now you're making great videos and you're making money i want 10 percent of your commissions <coughs> Damn, who said that? Nah, it's playing, man. But hey, I appreciate you guys for watching, man. Let me know if you have any other video tutorials that you have in mind. You're like, man, I need to know how to do this on Sony Vegas. I need to know how to do this. I've been working with Sony Vegas for a long time, so I'm going to see what I can teach y'all. But hey, it is your boy Ranks. So I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of the video. I am out of here. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.